Okay, so here comes the moments question. A uniform beam, AB, of length 6 metres, so it's uniform, that means that um, the weight of the plank or the beam is going to be central, 3 metres, uh, rests in a horizontal position on two smooth supports at C and D, where A to C is 1, B to D is 1.2. When a vertical force of magnitude 1800 newtons is applied upwards to the beam at the end A, so I've got an 1800 newton force acting there, um, the beam is about to tilt the support at D, so it's going to turn around that point and the reaction at C will be zero, because it's just about to lift off it. Determine the weight of the beam. So it's the weight they're looking for, not the mass. So um, I can put the weight, I can just define as W. Um, there's a reaction there, RC. There's a reaction there, RD. And then if I put some distances in there, I know that A to C is 1. I know that W is going to be halfway along the um, the beam, so it's going to be three meters from there to there, which means that that distance has to be two. B to D is one point two, which means that the missing gap there must be sort of I got three four point two one point eight meters. So those are all the distances that I need. Okay, uh, I want to determine the weight of the beam, uh, and I know it's about to tilt at C. Sorry, about to tilt around D. So therefore, RC in this instance will equal zero. So I want to find the weight, I don't know RD, so I'm going to take my moments about D because that will then take that out of my equation. So I'm going to sum my moments about D. So if I start along here, um, furthest away and work my way in, I'm going to have 1800 times 3, 4.8 and my sense of direction is clockwise is positive that's definitely going to turn in a positive direction so that will be positive then my RC is going to be zero so I don't need to include that um, then I've got my weight which is going to be W times 1.8 and that's trying to turn in an anti-clockwise direction so that one will be negative no other forces so that equals zero so 1.8 w take it over to make it positive will be 1800 times 4.8 so w 8640 over 1.8 equals 4800 and because its weight, its unit is newtons, not kilograms. So that's part A. Part B, the vertical force is now removed so that the beam is resting in equilibrium on the two supports. Calculate the, calculate the magnitude of the reaction um, at each of the supports on the beam. Okay, so I now know what the weight is and the 1800 is gone. So I've got the fact that it's in equilibrium means the forces will balance out. So I have my RC plus RD minus 4800 equals naught. So that's my uh, Newton Newtonian equilibrium equation. Then I've got my moments equation. I'm going to take it about D again. So this time I'm going to have 
3.8 times RC and that would be positive plus 1.8 times W which is 4800 and that's going to be negative because that's trying to turn it in the opposite direction um, the RD will be 0 so that equals naught. so that's my second equation so from this I can work out what RC is and then I can substitute that into equation 1 to get RD so 3.8 RC equals 1.8 times 4800 so RC will be 1.8 times 4,800 divided by 3.8. So 1.8 times 4,800 divided by 3.8 equals 2273.68 dot dot dot, so on. If I round that to two significant figures, 2300 the two significant figures and then in equation 1 I now need RD which will be 4800 minus RC so that will be 4800 minus previous answer 2526.31 etc 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 which two significant figures would be 2500 newtons so I write the whole numerical string down and then round to two significant figures so the examiner can see both okay so that's the um, moments question